Have you ever thought about painting a concrete floor? I thought about it for many years and well, finally I tried it. Here's what the floor looked like before on our covered back porch. And then I made it look like it was tiled with green marble. And it was all made possible by bare concrete dye, some primer, and some chalk paint. Here's how I did it. How you can do it too. <laughs> I decided to marbleize the concrete on this back porch. I used only four colors. You're seeing three of them here now. I'll use a fifth color in the coral rose family over here where I'm going to do some faux brick. But over here where I've mostly finished, I'm making it look like green marble. Here's what it looked like before. And ta-da! Here's what it looks like now. This is how I got this look of green marble tile. I use these same cardboard boxes. They're kind of small. One is square, one is rectangular, and I traced around them with ordinary sidewalk chalk. As long as you're using ordinary chalk, you can erase any mistakes. Keep standing back and looking at it, and use a straight edge like I'm doing here to fill in around those smaller squares. Basically, I'm trying to think like a stonemason and draw lines that would simulate cuts in marble. This was actually a lot of fun to do. Brought back childhood memories of playing hopscotch where a lot of the fun is in the drawing. If you don't like your pattern, just erase it with a baby wipe and redraw it. My secret weapon for this project was this concrete die. It's not very expensive and it went right through my stained watered down paint and created a beautiful blue finish. I also used ordinary chalk paint because it has good bonding abilities and I used two different colors of primer. I used a green and foliage, tropical foliage, by Kills, and I used a flat black primer. And I didn't need very much paint at all. I estimate that I used about two quarts for 300 square feet because you're going to be watering the paint down a lot and using very little of it. It's going to soak into the concrete. I put my colors, my three main colors here, I put in these plastic shoe boxes because I could put the lid on later and it lasted for weeks. I used really tough nylon chip brushes, and even though they lose a hair now and then, they really stand up to being scrubbed into this concrete. So I started in the far corner of the porch. I'd had everything cleaned and acid washed. I divided the porch up into five sections of about, I say about 60 square feet, and I was able to do that square, that 60 square feet in a day. It's actually kind of slow going, but it's very pleasant to work on concrete, so I would absolutely do it again, even though a few of the days were very hot. I figured out the best way to finish one of my squares was to use the water that I cleaned my brushes in. That worked out to be about a cup of water with about a teaspoon of green paint in it, but it was brush cleaning water. What I would do is cover a whole square with the brush water and then I would go back over the square building up the green in a grain pattern. You can see that sometimes I would switch which way the grain would go and that is what made it look like natural marble is that most of your tones will go generally in the same direction and sometimes they branch off this way and that. I used very little white paint. See how little is on the brush? That's because when I added it to the square, I was always shocked at how bright and glaring the white was. If you keep switching back and forth between your brushes though, they'll dry out a little bit so you can go back over your colors and fan it out and feather it and blend it. And with practice, it will begin to look like natural marble. Here I am 
feathering it, fanning it, and it's all right, perfectly all right to go over a square, but you don't want too much paint on concrete because you don't want it to be thick enough to peel off later. You want it to be very thin and diluted and give it time to soak right down into that concrete. Here, I'm still working with three colors. First, a watery wash. And as you can see there, I have to go over a couple of stains. But the great thing about marbleizing, it not only hides future dirt, it covers up old stains. Anything that didn't come off with the acid wash or some crud cutter, I ended up just painting right over it. Here I am building up the greens. And then when in doubt, I would always add a little bit of black because when you only have three colors to work with, it's kind of mind-boggling to figure out which color to use next. But somehow I managed between green, black, and white. And a lot of feathering and a fair amount of water. I can do really long days of floor work as long as I'm sitting on a small stool and that keeps the weight off of my legs and my knees and I can just keep going. After a square would dry in I'd say about two or three hours you can not only walk on it but you can finish it with this wonderful concrete stain by Bear that was about ten dollars a quart and it comes in all different kinds of colors and I use this color called emerald pool to go over each of my marbleized squares. You can see at the top of this clip here, it's already been stained with that wonderful blue tone. Over on the left, lower left, it's still that sort of grassy green. And every once in a while, I would put a little bit of my white chalk paint into the concrete stain, and that would just give it this little hazy blue effect. So here's the corner before, and here it is now. I'm already decorating it in my mind. And as you can see, I'm pretty happy with it. But it's going to take a little bit of time to finish. So until next time. Be inspirational. Be wonderful. surprising. Be sweet. Be creative. Be astounding. Be all these things and more at SteffiMcCarthy.com.